How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week six, and uh, we got a bye week here. So we're going to go through some recruiting. We'll sim through the week, and then uh, we'll play our game. Curious to see maybe if there's a little bit of chaos around the country. Uh, but right off the bat, let's go ahead and just see how we're doing with the top guys on our board. Um, maybe how close they are to getting locked down. Oh my gosh, we're losing points here 90 points a week to cincinnati with the center justin williams and we're down 2.2k uh, i just don't think that we're going to be able to bring that back especially seeing as they're 65 percent locked so the dream of having an incredible center uh, it's not going to continue right now so pull him off the board looking good still with roger reed we need to get that visit schedule that we are 440 in front of pit 64% locked. Roy Jones, we are gaining on Alabama. Hopefully that can continue. 78 over defensive end, although I believe he's a Juco. Neil Boone, 77 over a linebacker. We have the lead. We're not even putting full points into him. He's only 47% locked. Only team to offer him a scholarship. And then our last 77 overall guy, Calvin Morris. We're losing 370. That's unfortunate. Uh, that means that Temple's giving him their full 500 and there's really nothing that we can do. Um, but since they're, I mean, they'd be getting 70 a week. We're going to give him 500. And we'll see maybe if with good visits that can narrow the gap. And then maybe we can take Calvin into the offseason. As for the rest of these players, again, we'll go through and check uh, check everybody. We'll offer some scholarships. But I'm just going to go through and make sure that we you know, are putting points in the right spot first. Alrighty, so we've given some points around and I've come to the bottom of the board. Uh, you know, a couple of the guys were looking okay at the bottom. Calvin, of course, we're kind of fighting for. Michael Fogel, we aren't giving him full points, but uh, looking pretty solid gaining there. That's the 66 overall athlete. Uh, Nick Cannon, though. I'm pretty sure we were in the lead last week, or at least not too far behind. But now, all of a sudden, Wake Forest has pulled out 700 points. Uh, of an extra bit of lead uh, last week to allow themselves to go up a thousand on us. Maybe it's the scholarship offer. He is very locked. Their visit's coming before us. Um, he's going to, I think, have to come off the board. Uh, I just don't see it's it's going to be another six weeks until their visit. I don't see how we're pulling that in, but we'll keep him on for another week. But that's one that we have to be uh, cognizant of. Just making sure that he doesn't kind of just pull away from us and that we're not wasting our points. Everywhere else, we're pretty much fine. So we're going to offer our scholarships and then uh, we'll give points to the top players uh, priority-wise for ourselves. So we'll just offer scholarships to anybody that we have a lead with. David West, that quarterback from Forest Acres, South Carolina. He's, you know, mediocre. Not the quickest guy. Not the best arm, but right there in the middle. Uh, and yeah, he has a bounce quarterback. Number 34 in the country. That's pretty nice. Uh, who else needs a scholarship? I mean, we could just start offering scholarships to pretty much everybody, but I'd like to give them to the people that uh, we we care about a little bit more. Leighton Miller is a, what is he? He's a center from Conway, South Carolina. 68 overall. He's definitely going to get that. Uh, Craig Thomas is a 65 overall defensive end from Tennessee. Six foot 242. Maybe a little bit short, but... They'll get an offer. Alex Moore already has one, and so does Paul Burke. So now, with the remaining 400 points that we have, we're going to go ahead and go to our overalls, and we'll just dump them straight into Neil Boone. We want to pick up linebackers that are this good. I mean, 77 overall freshman linebacker could be massive. So we'll uh, see if that helps us. And we have five guys ready for visits, so we can set these up real quick. And again, it'll kind of just depend on uh, if we're in the lead or not. If we're in the lead, they'll get their visit early. Otherwise, it'll be late. And Todd Dean is the only one that we're not in the lead with. So we want to go to that uh, South Alabama game so that we are after uh, Charlotte. And hopefully that uh, is beneficial for us. Otherwise, we'll set us up for... Uh, well, we'll go ahead and do ULM for Roger. Uh, Maurice Dingle, we will also send to the ULM game. I'm assuming a lot of these guys are going to be that way, especially because we're a lot of their first visits. Um, and we can start to get those complimentary visits as well. So that gives us XP and extra points. And uh, that's going to do it for our recruiting.
We'll take that quick look again at the teams that are playing that are ranked this week. We have one and two in Texas and Oklahoma, three and four in North Carolina and Miami. So at least two top four teams losing. Uh, Georgia, Tennessee, eight and 24 will be playing. I think that maybe we had another one. No, that's it. Uh, and we have our bye, so we don't even have to worry about it. So go ahead and sim through this week. See uh, which teams come out on top. We're going to lose at least two undefeateds and uh next week we'll hope that we can maybe move up in the ranking and uh do a good job here against ulm and our defensive coordinator somehow in the bye week levels up so chad stags one hell of a name gets the level up uh we get locked out by nick cannon so yeah we don't even have to think about whether we'll take his points away a lot more guys ready to visit a lot of visits scheduled this week uh, we're going to save most of our recruiting for uh after the game and for next episode but what we'll go ahead and do is schedule those visits uh, that we want to send this week and we can also just uh take where is he he locked this out there we go take nick cannon off the board now there are five visits ready to schedule um jimmy massey is the only one that might not come to this ulm game we're going to send a bunch of them but actually we're his first visit so how far behind clemson are we no are we behind clemson yet by 25 points but gaining they've offered him a scholarship we uh we need to do that as well right now use a couple points on that and then let's go ahead and send him to that south alabama game late just to put a little bit of pressure on clemson and everybody else will be coming to this ulm game this week unless there's a competitive visit so hopefully we can just get yeah lots of uh, complimentary visits and hopefully we can have a good game here oh it's been pretty difficult for us in the past but i got to imagine that lee corso is in our corner he is <laughs> their own three uh d plus overall and offense with a c minus defense for ulm okay i know that i said that i thought that we would destroy troy in the last game but if we're not able to do that to ulm that's troublesome they have played wake forest although it's a bad wake forest and they got beat bad uh they lost badly to a decent lsu albeit unranked and they got crushed by a ranked texas tech so starting their season uh in a bad way i just hope i mean D plus overall. We have to be able to beat that. Let's go ahead and take a look at ESPN first, though. We have that in the back of our mind. Where are we moving? Texas beats Oklahoma. Miami beats UNC. So those two teams drop to 7 and 10, respectively. Did we have any other losses? Georgia did lose to Tennessee. So three top 10 teams losing last week. And South Carolina, the previous number five, that makes it four top 10 teams lose they are no longer undefeated they dropped from 5 to 16 they lost an overtime to an unranked kentucky a still unranked kentucky which is pretty crazy we stayed at 20 um florida state took a loss and so did washington so <laughs> that's that's pretty crazy a uh, lot of chaos so far and not a ridiculous amount of teams left that are undefeated we have our defensive coordinator upgrade available with Chad Stags. We're going to up our zone coverage, I believe. Yeah, we'll up our zone, help uh, our pass coverage a little bit better. And uh, let's go ahead and get into this game. I'm somewhat confident, <laughs> but you never know. 68 overall to our 81. Please, we have to be able to do this. Uh, we'll just wear the standard homes. We got the uh, recruits coming. We want them to see the brand this time around, and uh, we'll let the Warhawks wear. Uh, let's give them some darker pants. They have white and the old maroon ones. What's their 09 white? Mm, that'll work. They can wear the red pants, though. Let's make sure that we're still wearing our jersey. And again, 81 to 68 is the normal overall. We have an 83 to 67 offense, so our offense is miles better than them and a 10 overall advantage on defense. So looking at ranks, worst in the country in points per game on offense, almost the worst in yards per game, worst in rushing yards, very middle of the road on passing yards. Defense, almost worse across the board. Points, 
yards allowed, passing yards allowed, they're worst, and they're nearly worst in their rush defense. So while we don't have the best rankings, especially on offense, we have to be a lot better than that. A bunch of guys visiting, we want sacks, we want to pass for 250, we want to run for 100, we probably want some interceptions. We might want to throw to some tight ends. It's all over the place. And their top players are, you know, they got one in the 90s and then the high 80s, although their second best player is their punter, so a little bit interesting. Back here in Conway, we'll load into this game, and uh, as we go through the coin toss, hey, thanks again, everybody who has subscribed recently. That's awesome. If you're not, feel free to hit the button as we will kick this ball off uh, after winning the toss. And hopefully our defense can be pretty solid in this game. Biscardi's going to put that one, as always, to the back of the end zone. So we'll see the touchback, and it's up to the defense to come out and make a good stop on their first drive. Uh, we kind of, I don't know, didn't mean to be on the defensive end there, but it works out. Only giving up two yards on first down. Try to use the linebacker here. As on second and eight, they're going to hand this one off. And oh, my bad user strikes again. Broken tackle there. That turned into a big 21-yard gain. <laughs> it looked like we had it stopped. Unfortunately, I am still the one controlling this as there's a false start. Maybe the uh, you know snap count got him. It's going to be a loss of five. Now they got, uh, they got a long ways to go here. We're going to expect them to go to the air on first and 15. Although, no, this is a handout. Hand off out towards the edge, and they pick up almost the first down. Oh, not like this. See what we can do. Bring in the zone blitz. Kind of expecting this one to be another run. No, they're going to go play action. A little bit out of position with Spillum, so they get five yards and another first down. See what we can do now on this first down. It's going to be a man in motion and another play action. I'm way out of position. Strong got there for the SWAT. Hey, we need three more of those for some goals. Decent stop, though. And here on second and ten, we're bringing the corner blitz. Maybe an interesting decision, dropping the DNs in. That could have worked better. And, man, their running is so good, they dropped the ball. We finally pick it up. Gunter has it. Apparently, there's a fumble in the, all of that chaos. <laughs> and, well, we get the ball. The defense may be coming up with a stop, although I don't know if it was deserved. Very much a, a clear fumble, though. That one was... Uh, Kind of yakety sacks esque as we'll give this one to Reese for a yard on first down. Offense needs to get the job done all game long today. Five wide on this second and nine. I'm looking for the short throw to Javon and oh, ho, ho. almost had that route jumped. Lucky that we still have the ball now. Didn't really think that that was going to be as big of a problem as it was, but uh, we've got ourselves a lot of work to do on this third down. They're bringing. A little bit of pressure. I see a man. There's Bedgood open for the first down. And yeah, that'll keep this drive alive. See what we can do on first and 10. As there's some blocking for White. As he's got a little bit of the corner. Good seven yard run on first down. We'll see if we can get them with the counter now on second and three. And again, just looking for some decent blocking. And White, yeah, just getting upfield for another 10. So maybe the running game being successful in this one. We'll try a play action on first and 10. And again, just getting outside the pocket. I don't really feel comfortable with any of this. We'll scramble with McCall and just pick up a couple yards. I would like to avoid throwing risky passes today. So, um, you know, you'll probably see me make some decisions like that. Hopefully, hopefully I don't force one and get a pick. And now we've got a third and five, which we will go to the air for. And there's a wide open Mobley. Holds onto it, stays in bounds, makes a man miss. Finally takes a shot from the safety, but still picked up 15 yards before that. And the ball off to Reese again on this first down. Things are working pretty well on the drive. Cooking uh, as Reese has 29 yards now. And as we've crossed the 15, I'm looking for a read option. This could be a little bit dangerous. Grayson's going to keep it. He's got nothing but space. That has to be a touchdown. Maybe a late hit in the end zone, but it doesn't matter so long as he's not injured. We strike first. Defense made just enough of a stop, and now we're up 7-0. 229 left in the first quarter. First and 10. These guys are going to hand it off again. And again, dude, their blocking is really good. I'm surprised that they... 
are so bad uh, offensively in terms of rankings. They just continue to pick up these big runs on the ground. It's not really working for us. And now on this first down, that's going to be a draw. And man, thankfully, we had two guys there. Only allowed three. We're a ranked team. We can't get embarrassed here at home with a ton of recruits. So at least that's what I'm hoping. Quarterback's going to scramble there. There's the sack. And we've got a third and ten. He tried to run. You're not getting away from Joel Hall, though. So on third down... We'll just try to make sure that we don't give up anything stupid. It is a screen. We're through. Unless there was some miracle play from the uh, running back there. That wasn't going to be anything. So a stop from the defense. We'll get the ball back here. I got to say, if you were an Aaron Diggs fan last year, you might be a little bit disappointed. Hasn't really had nearly as much of an impact this season as he did last season, especially in the returning game. Kind of continues here today. A nine-yard punt return, but... I want to see more. On this first down, we're going to go five wide, and I'm looking deep. We'll see if there's anything. There's maybe a throw that we find likely. Probably could have gone real deep, but I just got to make sure that we're throwing safe ones. That first down throw opens us up for a nice easy, I hope, <laughs> second down run, which does work for four yards and moves the chains. And now under a minute to go in the first quarter. Again, we will go to the air. Looking, looking, looking. There's a good throw to bed. Good. And uh, another quick nine yards. Probably have one more play in this quarter. And I want it to be a pretty big one. We're looking play action. But we're also looking deep in the process of that. And we'll see where they're playing. No, I got no time. Didn't even have time to get rid of it. The blitz came and we lose 10 yards. So third and 11. And that's going to be our end of the first quarter. So up 7 nothing. We do have the ball, but not the easiest third down conversion in front of us uh, as we eventually head to the second. The game just wants to really rub it in my face that we took a big sack on that play. <laughs> a little bit frustrating. Anyways, there it is. Our first conference game of the season starting okay for us, um, but I think that we can do a little bit better. So we wanted a deep pass on the last play. Uh, we need one here. And this is a tough throw. Bed good. Uh, yeah, he's not coming down with that. Good play from the defense. And we'll have to punt this ball away. Not sure that we'll be able to get this one on the ground. Oh, that was a terrible punt. This is going to be very returnable. Can we get a good stop? Brought the hit stick. Only gave up 10 yards. That's honestly not too bad on the uh, kick coverage there. Defense needs another stop, though. Right off the bat here, we're going to bring a blitz. First down, it looks like they're running towards the edge. Can we get there with anybody? Oh my gosh, great cut, and now I'm just missing. Sidney McRae somehow chasing him down. Slowed him up enough, but oh, that was disappointing. This running back is averaging 13 yards per carry right now. Thankfully, these guys are not the most disciplined. Our second false start that we've seen from them here. First and 15, kind of expecting a pass. They will go to the air. They throw it out in the flat. They find Phillips, who breaks a couple of tackles and gets 10 freaking yards. These guys seem ridiculously good on second and five. That's going to be a handoff to the fullback. They managed to get him in a third down, but it doesn't look like we'll have a shutout today. Try not to get too crazy. Kind of expecting a run to the right on this one. It's a weird pitch that's going to be called an incomplete pass. <laughs> I feel like I've seen videos of people doing that, but it has never happened to me. I want to watch this one in slow motion. Quarterback goes for the pitch, and, well, it just went the wrong direction. I don't, I don't think when you pitch the ball, it's supposed to go forward. He's lucky, honestly, that that one's not picked off. Uh, Alex Spillum came up looking to get it, but it's just an incomplete. And we will see these guys kick the field goal. Maybe we can do something to disrupt. I doubt it. Not sure. Burning the clock a little bit. And the kick is up. And ooh, they got it. So 7-3. Thankfully, we don't give up the touchdown on the drive. But uh, defense needs to do better at stopping the run. Only benefit to something like that is that it puts Diggs back to return. This is a fieldable ball. A couple yards inside the end zone. We will bring it out. And Diggs has the blocks that he needs. Diggs. Going along the sideline in a foot race. Number 12 dives and misses. So does 17. Oh, no. He got him. 74-yard return. I feel like he would have taken that to the house last year. But, hey, sets us up 
almost at the 30 to start this drive, and I'm hoping it's a short one. A little cut from White, who makes another little cut, stays on his feet, gets 17 yards, and we're inside the red zone just like that. I really want to throw up that fade route to Fountain here as we're five wide, but I think the safety's going to kind of prevent that, so we'll just throw to Likely, who got the first and goal. Just kind of ran through a man there. Well, I've got no reason to think that this one's not going to work. A halfback slam up the middle line, doing a decent job. Reese is able to get a yard out of it. I'm not going to go away from this running, though. We'll just continue to run the dive up the middle until it works. Hopefully it does work. Uh, Reese gets another two, gives us a third and goal. And it's time for Shamari Jones to get his first carry of the day. The fullback dive on third and goal is enough. Ran through the linebacker, finds the goal line, and extends our lead to 11 here. 341 in the half. I think we might have another possession in us. If we're looking at some other battles, a out-of-conference matchup sees Tennessee 2-3, two and three, number two in the country, uh, leading against number one, 3-0 and oh, Texas. 14-10 to 10 there in the second quarter. Really hope that uh, we see Texas lose. That would be nice. Biscardi kicking this one. Oh, gosh, I put that way too high. Put it in a spot where they could return it, except I gave them a little bit too much to work with. Uh, I really just should have given them the touchback. They're out to the 25 anyways. On this first down, they show five wide. So we come out in the nickel, trying to watch. Quarterback's going to scramble. We're there. And <laughs> he knew he had to slide down. It was a quick second and nine there. We'll see if we can continue that. They do put a running back into the formation, maybe expecting a run. No, they go to pass on second and nine. Quarterback threw that one straight into the ground, maybe uh, hit a lineman with it. So this gives us now a third and nine. Again, five wide, just trying to watch that middle of the field. They're throwing the corner. He got his man, but he couldn't keep it inbound. So fourth and nine, the defense held very quickly there. That was absolutely fantastic. They've left us with quite a bit of time. And thankfully ULM's not going to try to burn the clock uh, on that pre-snap. Terrible return for me. Just ran straight in the guy. But we've got two minutes and 58 seconds to go down and score another touchdown. And you know what? We're going to look for a bomb here. Actually, they're bringing pressure. So we got to try to be a little bit safe here. First in 10. We put Reese White in motion, and we're going to throw a relatively safe ball to Deion Fountain. <laughs> he almost got past that man and took it to the house, I think, but got a quick first down anyways. 69 yards through the air for McCall so far in this game, but we'll hand it off to Reese, who's got a bit of a gap up the middle. It closes quickly. He gets three yards. That'll keep the clock moving. And we do have all three of our timeouts in their territory, so I'm not too worried about the clock just yet. I am a little bit worried about this play, though. Blocking doesn't hold, and it's a loss of two. We're going to have to go to the air here on third and nine with two minutes to go in the half. Drop back to pass. There it is. Wide open, open the middle, and we just messed bad good again. Grace McCall always does that. Although, I don't know if you saw that. He's now 6 of 9 for 69 yards, and uh, I didn't mean to do this. Apparently, we're going for it. Four vert. Why not? <laughs> On fourth and nine, the defense, man, they weren't set, but McCall looked to the sideline, and we have this. I think that we do. I really do. Throwing it up. Never mind. Dion Fountain not running towards it. <laughs> That was atrocious. Everything about that. Oh, no. I am so, like, disappointed and embarrassed right now at everything that just happened on that one. Here's a first down, and they're getting out of bounds. Honestly, they might score a touchdown on this one now. Really just hoping that we don't completely screw it up. On second and seven, four wideouts to the left. And there's a man just waiting over the middle. Finally uh, gets found. Isaiah Phillips with 10 yards on that one. Really need this to uh, work better in our favor. First down. Again, they will step back to throw. And oh, I thought maybe Bush had a chance to jump the route. Only gave up two yards, which is okay. Now here on second and seven. We're a minute and a half. I don't expect them to be... Doing a crazy amount of running, so we're ready for the pass, except the tight end just bounces around and gets the first down. 
Just struggling all over the place. Another first down will bring a little bit of a blitz. See what we can do there. And guarding my man. What can we do, Strong? They say that he got the pick. I think this might get overturned. If it stands, it's our second pick or our second turnover of the day. That is awfully close. What a weird animation. And no, they're not going to review it at all. So a minute and 21 will come out. I'm going to try a little bit of a QB blast with Grayson McCall on first down. And that didn't work as well as I was hoping. Minute and 17. We got to go hurry up. See if we can catch these guys out at any point on the drive. As there's Isaiah Likely. Ah, good defense. Got to him right as the ball did. I know that we're in bad field position. We don't want to necessarily give them the ball, but we're going to go play action pass on this one. And we're throwing a bomb. If we can get it there, Dion Fountain catches it in stride. The typing tackle saves the touchdown, but it's 60 yards just like that. Just ran past the safety. Bad coverage from him there, and uh, we got to take our first time out. 54 seconds left. Uh, I don't want to have to go hurry up on that one. So allow ourselves to get some stub subs in. We'll go with another play action. And we're actually just going to dump it off to Reese. Let him pick up a couple and get it back out of bounds. Look for the comeback route on this play. Second and seven trying to sit. And there's Javon who holds on to it through a massive hit. That's a quick first and goal. And here with 45 seconds left. We are going to go ahead and eventually see everybody get set. I don't know why it's taking them so long to get down here, but we'll run the ball and then probably take our second timeout unless Reese manages to score. He's bowling over, guys, and he's into the end zone. Seven yards on the dive. Sees him scoring six. My goodness. What, like, there's like half the team that he just ran through there. Incredible. So it is now 21-3, to and with 41 seconds left, I'm kicking this to a spot where they're going to be forced to return it. I want to see them burn a couple of the seconds that they have on this return, and wow, yeah, they burned a lot there. Five or six seconds there just to get back out to the 25. Now, part of our defensive woes might be that we're running the defense a little bit different on this game, using a lot more of our nickel and dime packages um, when they show a ton of wide receivers, so... We'll see what happens as they take their first time out. I'd love it maybe if we had the chance at another interception. We'll see them again throwing uh, five wide here on this first down. And the quarterback's going to scramble. Sidney McRae's there for the tackle. For some reason, they're taking another time out. And because of that, it gives us a second and 16. We can defend this. Maybe they're desperate for points. Quarterback's going to scramble again. I saw that coming where there was Shelton to not tackle him. He's just going to bowl through our linebacker there. And I'm going to actually take a timeout with 14 seconds left. If we can manage to get a quick stop here on third down and take our final timeout, then we will be able to maybe run a play or two and see what we can get. Waiting. Oh, my gosh. Should have seen that one coming. Over the middle, they pick it up, and now we're going to be a little bit worried. Send the cover three back. Hope that we can do something on this one. First and 10, waiting for the quarterback maybe to scramble. No, he finds a man over the middle. This could be... No, clock expires. Thought maybe they were going to have a field goal attempt, but we <laughs> hold on on defense there. Maybe shouldn't have taken that timeout, but as we go into the locker rooms, we are up 21-3. We will get the ball to start the third quarter, and hopefully we don't choke. We have not done well uh, in these recent second halves that we've been playing, at least not against teams that we should beat. So I do not want this to be a close game. Diggs is going to be back, obviously waiting to return this. A very returnable ball. We'll see. Is the blocking good, and how good can my user be on this one? Blocking seemed okay, but we get knocked out of bounds just past the 25. So on the start of this half, opening drive for the half, we'll hand off to Reese up the middle. He deserves it after the big run last time, and it's a second and six. Now I don't know if we have any tight ends that we need to uh, pick up. 100 passing yards to tight ends for, but we are definitely well on our way to getting the rushing and passing yardage that we need for our recruits. As Reese picks up three on that run. And I'm making maybe another risk here, but on third and four, we're going to throw the ball again. And this one's going up. Oh, no. Fountain came down with it. Oh, my goodness. He high-pointed the ball. 
and he just saved my bacon. 10 of 15 now for Grace McCall. Just kind of chucked that one up there, and he managed to get in front of the defender and come down with it. I gotta say, I don't think that we deserve to uh, have that first down, but we'll take it. Handing off again. I'm gonna have Reese. Well, I was gonna have him bounce outside, but we ran into the lineman and lost our balance and lost two yards. We'll still continue to run, though. A counter coming for Reese. They are pretty much ready for it. Couldn't do anything about the man containing the edge, and it's third and long now. So we're going to go for this. It's four down territory. Um, we're looking at a wide receiver screen. Maybe a little bit risky. Fountain, no, didn't get the blocks that we needed. Only got three yards, and I think I'm going to kick this field goal. Sometimes I would rather just have the points. Make sure that it's a three touchdown lead. And that kick should be nothing but good. 45 plus yarder. I don't know if we had a kicker coming to the game, but if we did, they all enjoy that. Otherwise, we'll just take a little bit of XP, extend our lead to 21, and hope the defense can come out and do it once again. Another set of downs that the defense has to face. And again, they just continue to throw on us. And man, Noah Patty's having a great game. The tight end picking up a quick 10, 11 yards there. I want to bring this blitz on this first down. See what we can do. Coverage, not there. Spill him. Oh my gosh, has his tackle broken. This could be a touchdown. It's up to Matt's diving. Can't get to him. Perry Carter Jr., 65 yards to the house. Wow. Broken play all the way. And uh, we're hooked. Yeah, they deserve that. Should have had the tackle there. No, no excuse for not bringing him down. 24 to 10 now. Is this it? Is this the start of our second half collapse? I need the offense to score a touchdown on this drive desperately. Nice blocking so far. Diggs. Well, maybe we don't need the offense. They, uh, wow, picked up 71 yards there. Nice job from Diggs on that one. Uh, we're looking for the touchdown on this. First and 10. Letting it go. Dion Fountain in the end zone came down with it. He is automatic oh my gosh i love Dion fountain grayson mccall finds his first touchdown pass of the day and we strike back with a one play touchdown drive after the really really nice kick return so both teams having uh big drives their last time out on the field we're gonna see if we can stop this this is gonna be a run out towards the edge somehow we're not there to immediately stop it and they pick up five yards I'm going to go ahead and say it. That play was suboptimal. Second and five, expecting the run to the... Well, I was expecting it to the left, but running back cuts it back to the right, and we stop him at the line. That's going to give us a third down to work with. I'm looking for the corner blitz. Although, I got dusted on the route. Did I time that perfect? Nope. Oh, dang it. The flag came in late. This is back-to-back -back games with a pass interference on us. You hate to see it. Thought that I timed it right. Maybe should have jumped the route. I just thought we were going to be a little bit later to it. So we've gone ahead and given them a uh, free 15 yards and another first down. We'll try a little bit of man defense here. First and 10. Uh, oh, I'm on Joel Hall. I guess we're using her as a defensive lineman and it worked very well. Got to the quarterback, forced him to throw that one away. See what we can do here. This is a screen. Quarterback uh, tried to run away from the screen, but we have the corner coming on the blitz on his blind side. So that's a loss of 10, third and 20. They are 25% today on their third down conversions. I'm hoping, I'm praying that we're going to be able to stop this. This is going to be another screen attempt. No, they showed screen. It's not going to be. Do we have the chance of the pick? No, it is a swatted pass, which again is useful, but thankfully just hits the turf. And we've got a fourth and 20. <laughs> uh, punt return. Team out. Digs back. Can we turn this into something big? Can we use this to kind of put the dagger in the heart of ULM? The blocking is okay. The blocking is actually great. We just have the punter to beat. And Diggs is gone. So long as there's no penalties, Diggs has his first return touchdown of the year. It's a 75-yard punt return. And, well, we're going to have to ask the defense to come right back out, but I am fine with it. 38 to 10. I'm always worried they're going to block one of those when I say the score before kicking it, but we're good. And how about this? Tennessee is up. 
11 points, 31 to 20 on number one Texas. So Longhorns, maybe not back. On another first down, we'll go back into the man once again, see what we can do. Quarterback scrambling. There's not a whole lot of space in the pocket, and there's the sack finally. Loss of three, second and 13. Joel Hall's second of the game. Joel Hall is an absolute monster so far this season. Uh, unfortunately, Patty's doing a very good job as well. They quickly pick up the first down. They recovered everything that they lost on the previous play as we tried to uh, bring a little bit of a cover two blitz. Didn't work for us, and we should be able to stop that. That was a big hit as we hit Phillips at the line of scrimmage. I feel like our man coverage is actually pretty solid so far. Second and 10, they will go to the air again. Trying to be patient. Quarterback scrambling, and Sidney McRae pulls him down. Defense is really on something right now. Doing a great job. Third and 15. Can we get off the field? ULM was just uh, one of four from third down. They're now one of five. And third and 15 is a long ways to go. I got burned. Oh, I got burned so bad. And of course, it's by the freaking tight end. 30 yards to Noah Patty. He's having a game. I just thought he was running a seam. I didn't think he was going to be kind of going corner with it. So didn't stick with him. And now there's a, almost another sack. Jeremy Hunt's able to get rid of it as he's getting hit by Gunter. Gotta say, it really seems like our man coverage is holding up very well against these receivers, so we're gonna stick with it a little bit, and we'll see. Quarterback scrambling. Can we get there with Shelton? We do. We get the truck on him. The hit stick, third and seven, and this time in this third down. As, man, I'm tired of these team running in the hurry up, but in this third down, we're gonna stick with the man. Try not to let them beat us. We know it's most likely gonna go to the air. What can we do to stop it? No release. Quarterback scrambling. We hit him before. We pop him at the line to gain, but he picks it up. Man, how do you break that tackle? Very, very annoying. We go to the air again here. And this is going to be the end of the third quarter. Gosh, the hit sticks are everywhere. They're holding on to the ball way too well. And hey, I got to say, defense, even if they give it up, that's, you know, they were basically playing back-to-back -back drives. So any sort of stop here is okay. 38 to 10. And we're here now into the fourth quarter, even in the game for these teams in terms of total yardage, but uh, our special teams maybe taking a little bit of that slack away from us. This one, and we're going to see the quarterback scramble again, and we're there to hit him. A little sack, loss of a yard, third and seven. QB continues to scramble, so I'm going to put our defensive tackle... In the spy, and the slip screen is going to work for a first down and a whole lot more. He breaks the tackle. It's a first and goal. Down at the six of the seven. Goodness gracious. We just cannot get off of this drive. We're bringing a blitz as they hand it off. Sidney McRae not going to be able to pull him down. <laughs> it's the touchdown. My gosh. Isaiah Phillips is having one hell of a game. Seems unstoppable. How does Sidney McRae, of all people, not pull him down? Gives us a... 38 to 17 as Texas scored a field goal. 31-23 in the fourth quarter there. These guys are going to go with the onside kick, which we weren't ready for, so our hands team isn't out and tempted to take the timeout, but I'm going to trust these guys. We'll see how good the kicker is as that one goes into Jones' hands. And so uh, we've got good field position. Fullback held on to it. Maybe time to end this game. I'm not sure how uh, many yards we have on the two categories that we need, but I kind of just want this one to end, so we're going to be looking to burn the clock. I think they're expecting the run here on second and seven. Hopefully the blocking can continue to hold up. Reese got a decent seven there, but third and four, this could be a little bit difficult. And maybe a dangerous idea, but we're going to try the speed option here on third and four. Bring Bedgood in motion and get the pitch out to Reese. I don't know how. He stayed on his feet well enough to get seven yards in the first down. Incredibly lucky that we didn't just give up the ball. There was no reason for us to still have possession. But I'm not going to complain. We get a new set of downs to work with. And that's going to allow Reese to keep chugging along. Second and seven now. I think is a good time for a play action. I'm expecting a lot of pressure. There is a lot of tr pressure. We have Javon Hiley, though, 14 yards downfield. 
Racing McCall is at 231 yards of passing, so we're not quite at the 250, which is a little bit worrying, and I honestly think that maybe we're going to stop burning clock to make sure that we get those goals. I'm not entirely certain what we need on the ground, but yeah, we know that we need 19 more through the air. This isn't going to be enough, but I'm thinking maybe we can get another possession outside the pocket, trying to wait. Never mind, we're going to scramble, pick up the yards, get out of bounds, and uh, there's our 100 yards on the ground, so now we just need to pass for a little bit more. Getting these extra bonus points for the recruits is going to matter a ton at the end of the day, I think. I'm going to give Javon Hiley, I think, just a, a toss-up fade. Lucky that one wasn't picked. It is so dumb of me to continue to throw here, but that's what we're all about is there's Hiley in the corner of the end zone. So six more yards through the air. We just need to get the ball back if we want a chance to hit 250. Oh, it's tied up now. 31 all with a minute and a half to go in the Texas-Tennessee game. It's either going to overtime or somebody's winning it late. We're not sure uh, who has the ball right now, I don't think, as I'm going to kick this one in a returnable position to these guys. And the defense really needs to get the ball back quick. Ooh, there's a flag on that return. So that's going to send them back a little bit. The center got called for that clipping, so it's going to send them back to their own 14-yard line. We can expect the passing. Can we get the stops? The screen. Can somebody get through? The screen worked way too well on the last drive. It's going to work way too well there as well. Just doesn't seem to work when we're in the man. Minute and a half, and again, we want the ball back. I want another possession. See if we can do it there. They're really handing the ball off here. Oh, I missed the tackle in the backfield. And Phillips gets nine more. Phillips only 10 carries on the day, still 98 yards. That's kind of absurd. This is going to be another handoff. He's breaking the 100-yard mark, and there's just nothing that we can do to stop him. Very dangerous if they throw it here. We're pressed up, bringing a man blitz, but it's a run up the middle, and, well, Phillips might be gone. <laughs> I, we can't do anything right now. The only person on their team who can do anything right now, and it's every single play. This is what it feels like. When we do this to other teams, thankfully holding him to two there. We're going to have to start uh, calling our timeouts if we want the ball back. Here's another run and another miss and another first down. And gosh, is it a first and goal? Christ almighty, he's unstoppable. Trying to make some adjustments here and there, and they're just not working. It's going to be another handoff, isn't it? No, quarterback's keeping it. He's throwing it out of the end zone, felt the pressure. Oh, frustrating. These guys are five wide as we've stayed in the 4-3. Hopefully it doesn't bite us. As, oh, what a hit. Well, I think that might have been Alex Spillum. Just leveled him and caused the incompletion. And with a stop here now, we would see all that we needed to uh, get this. Strong got the pick. That's another recruiting goal done. Ooh, hopefully that was a touchback and we're not at the one. Thank goodness it was. So, oh, we got a chance now to pick up the 250 passing yards. This is going to be such a great game for our recruiting. Uh, although Tyson Mobley dropping a pass certainly doesn't help. All I need is one pass. They're bringing a blitz here. And right over the middle we have likely. He holds on to it. That's enough for the 250, I think. I'm going to take a timeout just in case. And the pop-up did show up saying that we had 250 through the air so we can run this clock out and uh, get out of here with finally a decent win. Um, it's been a while, 45-17, since we've had a, a crushing victory. Clock will go ahead and strike that triple zeros, and goodness, it's over. Uh, it only took a D-plus overall team for us to have a, a nice easy win, but we did it. We got a bunch of recruiting goals done. Uh, maybe we'll get some commits after that one as well. So around the country, we don't know what happened in the Texas-Tennessee game. Uh, Clemson beats up on Georgia Tech. Florida beats up on Vanderbilt. Those are the two ranked ones that we see. Game stat-wise, we rushed for 113, passed for 255. Killed them on time of possession and turnovers. 3-0 on the turnover battle, as it should have been. Uh, and we won a pretty decent game for the first time in a while. Our player of the game, offensively, Grayson McCall, 15-22 for 255. Five carries for 20 yards. Three total touchdowns. Maybe, maybe should have had a few more. Uh, but how about Jeffrey Gunter? Eight tackles, uh, tackle for loss, a sack, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. 
Uh, and then Strong, I think it's Derek Strong, uh, had two interceptions. Surprised that he's not defensive player of the game, but, uh, you know, force fumble, fumble recovery, sack, all pretty important. Now, we won't know what happened with the Texas and Tennessee game until next episode because we're going to leave our recruiting uh, for this week and next week and all of that, including we'll take a look uh, since we're kind of halfway marked through the season. We'll take a look at uh, what's happening around the country in each conference, see what kind of uh, battles are going on for conference championships. But for now, that's going to do it for us. 45 to 17, we finally get a nice, comfortable victory. It's been a long time coming. Hey, I didn't have to use the suspense music at the end of the game. <laughs> it feels good. Before we head out, though, I again want to say thank you to everybody. Sport continues to be incredible on these videos, um, and that means a lot. So welcome, everybody who has joined us uh, in the past week or so. It means a ton. Uh, if you haven't joined us, please feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is free to do. And again, if you don't end up liking the content in you know a couple months or a couple years, you can always unsubscribe. It's free to do that as well. But in the meantime, go ahead and uh, hit subscribe and then, you know, maybe turn the bell on if you want. Um, and then if you want, you can follow us elsewhere on the web. Uh, we're on Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. And we have a Twitter and Discord. Those links are down in the description below. All that being said, though, thanks again for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys, and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.